Formula One is full of challenges that test your resilience. Splunk is offering me a new challenge today to test my resilience with esports champion Lucas Blakely. How you doing, Good man? to see you. How are you? Good? Not too bad. We're going to be doing an esports masterclass on how to be a resilient esports driver in the Shadow Studio. Let's see how we go. All right. So today we're not just racing for fun, but we're going to try and improve your performance using some Splunk dashboards. All right, sounds good. Last year, Splunk was one of the biggest factors in us trying to fight for the championship in 2022. And thankfully, we, we managed to do that. Resilience is, is at the heart of McLaren, so constantly improving is the name of the game. Let's see what we can do. Firstly, what's it like to drive, but what's it also like in the, in, you know, the virtual counterpart? I mean, it's a cool track to drive. My house is about 10 minutes at the end really? of the straight, um, a lot of high speed corners. So what's the, what's the world record of 15.6? Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, pretty much. Okay, that makes me feel bad, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the data with Splunk and uh, see where we can improve. All right. So Splunk has pulled out some data that we can now see right in front of us. Yeah. This is your fastest lap versus your second fastest lap. Immediately out of turn one, um, heading through turn two, you reach full power much earlier, just building yeah. the confidence. It's much, much quicker. Yeah, you've carried a lot better minimum speed. Certainly with braking points here, just yeah. shifting that braking zone a little bit more forward. Clearly a big increase in confidence in here, very methodically Thank thought you. out and improved. Big change in conditions now. A tad wetter, heading into turn one, already a lot, lot slower. Ah, oh, that wasn't a corner before. Yep, no it is. <laughs> Your car control is excellent. Hustling the car, you're getting it rotated. So Only 12 seconds slower than before. For the Inters, you know, that's not too bad going. Um, let's go have a look at the Splunk data and um, see where we can shave some time off. All right. We now have the, the dry lap, and I think immediately we can see going into the middle sector here, there, yeah. Minimum speed, way higher. Just yeah, so much more grip. Um, a lot tidier on the dry, yes, I would say. Definitely, Whereas yes. this looks like, you know, someone's grabbed a crayon and wanted yes, to draw. So definitely. Um, very, very cool to see the difference. Shall we see what you can do in the wet? Yeah, let's uh, let's give it a go. I All enjoy right. the wet, so it should be fun. So I think my lap time was about a 1.30. No pressure. Heading into turn one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is much later than what I did. For good reason. Okay. You're only three tenths off me on the first lap. So. Oh, I've got ERS as well. Ah, oh, that's cheating. I won't do that. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was too fast into this. Come on, Lucas. Wake up. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm just going to watch and admire. Oh, don't stop, stop, stop. Mistakes have been made. There you go. Oh, 29.3. Wow, there you go. All right, so now that we've both done some laps, let's go and compare some of the data. Sounds good. Now we have the lap that I just completed versus your fastest lap here. In a lot of instances, the throttle confidence is maybe a little bit higher. I mean, and certainly here, you are having to take a bit of a lift, whereas, yes. you know, before, mm -hmm. that's just completely flat yeah. out in the dry. I mean, this is the same as what we see in real life. You know, the throttle traces get much more dragged out, the braking gets much more dragged out as well, and, and the braking pressures are much different. Interesting to see the difference. Yeah, it's really cool. Quite cool to see that, you know, I get to compare data to this guy right here. Thank you very much. So we've now had the chance to have a look at the Splunk data and it showed plenty of resilience, showing, you know, different adaptability, kept continuously improving. So I thought it was, yeah, pretty good. Thank you very much. Adapting to those different conditions is always something I enjoy in the real world and in the virtual world as well. But yeah, it all helps to build resilience and uh, make you a better driver. So thank you very much for the session. Thank you very much. It was great fun. Thank you. Cheers.